Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Today I will show you all the phones which I will sell That's right some of the phones I already have showed you in my previous videos, but they are old, nobody of our family is using them anymore, and I decided to get rid of them, aka to sell them. So like, subscribe, and without further interaction, let's get into the video. Hello again, so as I already have said, I will be selling old phones. Most of them are my parents' phones, that's why I asked for permission, because I can't sell something which is not mine. I will sell two phones which are mine, the other ones are not. They have been used, but they're like brand new because we keep our phones, okay? We put cases, protectors, you know, everything what you need to keep a phone. So they're in good condition, they're working, but the thing is they're old and nobody will use them anymore. I don't know anyone who will use them so I can give it as a gift, present. So that's why I decided to sell them. Also, some of the phones are like this big. They're tiny and tiny screen nowadays, even the iPhone mini has a bigger screen than this phone which I will show you so technically nobody's using them they're old like they're not that faster as the newest one so I decided to get rid of them and sell them and make a profit so right now let's get into the video so the first phone which I will sell is this buddy right here this is a Nokia as you can see I don't have a charger for it I searched everywhere I didn't find a charger so i have no idea if it's working or not that's why i sell it for a very cheap price everybody can buy a charger i'm sure we have one but i don't know where is it this is the charger right here i guess this is for headphones this is the charger it has the symbol i don't know if you can see it but this is the symbol so yeah you can remove the battery of course here and everything it's a fully functional phone but the thing is that who uses a phone with buttons anymore like it's a functional phone okay i just uh don't have a charger for it and i think 20 bucks will be fine because i don't even have a box charger or anything it's just a phone and uh yeah it's a fixable phone if it's though i don't know if you have personal information in it i hope not because honestly I have to charge the phones to see if they're working and if they have a personal information of us because like phone numbers, games, pictures, all these things which you don't want other people to see. But yeah, this is the first buddy which will go out. So the second phone which I will sell is this LG buddy right here. Yes, I call my phone buddies. So it's another phone with buttons that came with all these things. They were inside the box. So I decided to wrap it with them. This is what the phone looks like. It's a basic phone, but the phone has a dual SIM card. This means that you can put two SIM cards inside. Obviously, it's an old phone, but back in the days you have a dual SIM card phone, no matter if it was with buttons or one of the fewest touch screens which were on the market. Was well, something very cool with like Euro Pro if you have two SIM cards. So yeah, it's a fully functional phone. I have charged it. It has no personal information inside because it says there's no sim card so aka no phone numbers were on the phone everything was it was there it was on a sim card which is good never put your phone numbers in your phone put them in your sim card because if you sell your phone or give it away you might forget to delete this and someone might use it so this is where it charges it works with the basic android charger aka right here so technically i don't have a charger for it I charge it with my dad's charger because I don't know where is the original charger, but it works. He has a flashlight right here, and I believe this is for headphones. I'm not sure, but it can be for anything else. So it's a fully functional phone. It works, and this time it comes with a box. So yeah, it has a charger, but I don't know where is it because we have so many phones that I already know how many chargers we have. I'm pretty sure that every phone should come with a charger, but I don't know where is it. But it's a fully functional phone, and I think that we can sell it. So if you're interested, well, buy it. The third phone which I will sell is a well-known buddy, and it's this one right here. Big news about this phone, I figured out what the password was. And I found it on the internet. Dumb, 
but I did. I was searching how can I guess my password or how can I lock my phone when I forgot my password and it gave me some pin suggestions. So first thing that I figured out before I search on the internet that the password is at least four digits because when I was typing one, two or three it said that the password was too short so it was four digits. The dumbest one I tried was four zeros. I started with this from the beginning but it didn't work. So I tried one, two, three, four, five, then two, six. I even tried one, two, three, four. It didn't work. But I tried the suggestions on the internet and one of the password worked, believe it or not. So now I removed the password because I will sell in this phone. Here it is. I will finally show it to you. It's this one right here. It's working. It had no personal information, but I will check it once again to make sure that it doesn't have anything inside. This is from where you charge it. It's a basic uh, Android charger. Also here you have for headphones. And this thing right here, it's a pen actually. The phone comes with a pen. I already have shown you that, but you, it's a cool feature for me. So yeah, you can open it from right here. The phone is working, it's perfectly fine. I will charge it again. Oh, actually this charge. Believe it or not here. The phone is working, I have charged it enough, so. It makes these weird noises, but wow. The phone is working. Uh, here is the music. I don't think it has any songs inside, but it might sound a bit slow. Oh, it has some... Okay, it has contacts here, which I definitely have to delete. But the phone is working though, which is great. And it's also going for a sale because nobody needs this phone anymore. Phone number four, which I will sell. It's a phone which I used. And it's this one right here. I already have shown you this in my phones when I reviewed my old phones. Also when I tested old phones. So it's kind of repeating but I will get rid of it. I was doubting should I get rid of this phone or not. Because it was a gift and I was feeling bad but I won't use these phones anymore. And every time when I upgrade to a new phone I will stack old phones. And I will get full of phones. And I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. So maybe it's time to say goodbye and just sell it because I won't use this phone, okay? It's just, it's working completely fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's old and I won't use it anymore. And that's why I think that it's time for me to sell it. So yeah, it's a beautiful Samsung phone. White, it has no scratches at all. It, is, it doesn't have a phone case because back then I wasn't using phone cases yet. But it's a good phone working completely fine and i think that someone will be willing to buy it so yeah it works with the basic charger right here again i don't think i have a charger in the box sadly but if you have another android at home you can use the charger that's it just use the charger at least the android chargers are the same my parents phone can charge with the same charger this one as well but my iphone no so yeah, it's a functional phone and I'm pretty sure that someone will willing to buy it. The fifth phone which I will try to sell is another phone of mine and it's the Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini. Here, I actually keep the case inside. So this is the phone. It's completely working. I already have showed it to you guys in a video. So yeah, I haven't charged it. So. I would do that because I have some things to get rid of, like pictures, I have games, so I'll clean it completely and leave only the apps which came with the phone, so that way I won't have personal information. The pictures are not of me, they are of celebrities and people that I used to like, like seven years ago, or even when I was very, very younger. But yeah, it comes with a protector, I don't know if you can see it here, it has a bit like, that's an air bubble. So it has a protector, it has a case. Also, something interesting that I found in the box, this is inside, here is the menu. It has, the surprising thing, a whole screen protector inside and a table card. I was surprised when I saw it because why the heck do we have it? But this is the protector. It has a screen protector inside. Didn't, the whole time I didn't knew that it had a screen protector. It has a table cloth and here... I don't know what is this it says something oh it's a dust remover 
film okay this is the weirdest that i have ever seen but yeah you remove the dust which is good so technically you're getting two protectors so this might get off the price a bit you know but anyways i won't sell it for too high because honestly i tried to find how much a new one cost on internet i couldn't i couldn't find a price so i will try to put a price which is affordable and at the same time corresponds to all the things which you will receive because you get a box you have these screen protector you have one on it already you have a case manual so yeah all the things which you need are with this phone and yeah i'll try to put affordable price but also a price which can earn me some profit the last phone ak number six which i will try to sell is this huawei wi-fi seconds the news doesn't look good for this buddy right here but i will try my best to see what i can do about it this is what the phone looks like it's in a very good condition it has a case yeah the case looks a bit used but who cares it's a case and it protected the phone this is what it looks like here you can put something it has little pockets but yeah the problem with the phone is that it doesn't want to turn on so technically when it's turning on it shows the logo the huawei logo and it stuck there it doesn't want to move from there so it's alternate what you have to do so you press the start button which is this one right here and the volume up then it shows some menu and you have to do two things to delete the data and i think the other was refresh something well after you do these things you need to reboot and then the phone is supposed to turn on i tried both things then i turn it out the huawei logo appears then it disappears it's turned on the phone but it doesn't want to proceed so technically i don't know how to fix this issue i was willing to sell this so much because this is the newest of all the phones which i already showed you and i could high up the price a bit i mean put a bit more because look at it it's in a very good condition phone barely used he has a protector on, he has a case, and the box is complete. So these are all the instructions. The charger from this phone, my mom is using it because she doesn't want to use her new charger on the her current phone. So here it's empty, but I will put a charger inside. Well, first I need to figure out what to do with this phone, how to turn it on, because if it doesn't turn on, I can sell it. It's not working though. What I have to say, I'm selling a phone, two hundred dollars, not working. Nobody will buy it. So, yeah, I'm hoping that I will figure out the issue with this phone. So up to now, I won't put it on for sale because what if someone actually wants to buy it? I have to prove that the phone is working and it's not. So, uh, yeah, technically, I hope that things will work out for this buddy because I really, really want to sell this one. Okay guys, that was in the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below which one was your favorite phone for sale and which one will you buy? Honestly, I would definitely buy this one if it was working because it's the newest from all that I showed you. But we'll see if I can actually make the things work for it. Also, I will think about the prices once again. I have something in mind, but I don't want to put too high prices because these phones are old models and... No matter that they are fully functional, this is not what people buy nowadays. So I will try to put prices which people can afford and also that they are enough so I can make a profit. Because let's be honest, I won't sell this phone for 10 bucks. I was thinking about 50 to 100. I don't know. I will check how much phones uh, like this one costs, like what, at what price people sell them. And I will do the same because if I put a too high price, nobody will buy it. If I put it too low, Somebody will buy it definitely, but then it will, I won't make a good profit, so I will definitely think about that. And hopefully I will earn some good money. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.